Hi everyone. Today I will be demoing five uh, favorite app exercises using a loop band. Okay, and this will also work your thigh, your muscles surrounding your hip joint, your hip flexors, hip abductors hip adductors, inner thighs, outer thighs, and also hamstrings and glutes, okay? It is absolutely um, great as your modifications, and it's also help uh, intensify your ab workouts a little bit further. I will be using uh, um, medium resistance band, okay? If it's too light, then you might not feel a lot of work here. It will be more for proprioception. If you wanna work big muscles, Okay, so you can work a little bit heavier resistance. So make sure that it's not too heavy or too much resistance, otherwise you might get cramped if you're not used to it yet. Okay, I will be explaining the biomechanics uh, behind each exercise and also will be showing you uh, progressions and regressions for each exercise. And remember, before you begin any exercises, if you're not sure of your health conditions, please consult your doctors before you start these exercises. Okay, number one, my favorite is um, hip external rotation and back to parallel. So this one, we are working your glute max, your hamstrings, and also six deep lateral rotators while maintaining your abs in a isometric contraction. So you are, I will demo an exercise and then we will be discussing the details. So I'm wrapping the loops, the loop band around my ankles. Okay, and then I lie down on my back. I interlace my hands behind my neck. If your shoulders are tight, so basically if you interlace your hand behind your neck and your chest popping up like that, you can try to see whether you can lift your elbows slightly and drop your chest down. Think about slide your sternum down. If this is not comfortable, you can bring your hands on top of your forehead. Okay, to begin, I'm lifting my leg up. Okay, so I keep my lower back flat on the mat, maintain imprint pelvis position. I create a little bit of resistance on the band, meaning I'm pressing gently out. Imagine I'm moving my legs away from each other. Inhale here. Exhale, I do a slightly head nod and lift my upper body up. From here, when I exhale, I think about spiral your thighs out, reaching my knees away from each other. Inhale, come back to parallel. Exhale. Inhale, come back. While I'm doing this, I continue to press my legs away from each other. Okay, and I'm thinking about scoop your tummy down, keep your lower abs engaged to maintain pelvis stable. At the same time, continue to hold my upper body off from the floor. So your, rec your abdominals working so hard to maintain up here against gravity while you're working your leg muscles. Okay, so you can do that 8 to 10 repetitions, rest for a bit, you can repeat or you can progress to the next exercise. But before we begin to the next exercise, I want to ex uh, show you a few modifications. Okay, oftentimes you will feel that your clients cannot come up to the bottom of the shoulder blades, meaning as you come up, you can come up just here. It could be many factors. One not much body awareness, two, not enough abdominal strength, or three, uh, is your spine position, you are, in, uh, you are in flat back position. So sometimes if you cannot come up to the bottom of the shoulder blades, you will have a little bit of tension on the neck and shoulders the longer you stay up in your ab prep position. So I like to modify and make it a little bit easier. Doesn't mean that it's completely easy. I use a stability ball. So I'm using this one is from Mary Sue. Uh, mini stability ball is 10 centimeters times 25 centimeters. Okay, so I pump the gas in enough that you have a little bit of a little bit of give here. I place the ball on the mat. I rest my upper back down on the mat. So the guide is in between the shoulder blades. So the lower you place the ball, the more, uh, the more you're gonna feel that it support more 
of your upper body upward if you place it a little bit high up on your shoulder blade it's going to be a little bit harder for the abs to work okay so find a comfortable position that you work hard enough but not um, uh, too hard it should be a pain-free position and you feel that you're working the right muscles meaning your rectus abdominis your obliques not your shoulders or neck muscles okay from here same thing i want you to think about bring your pubic bone towards your chest melt your lower back gently gently down on the mat we are in imprint position and then slowly bring one leg up now continue to think about curling your ribs towards the hips or curling away from the ball so you don't want to rest onto the ball okay the ball is just supporting you then you do the same thing with the legs okay think about pressing out away from each other press into the band as you spiral your thighs out thinking about reaching your knees away from each other okay so this is a good modification that you can do I also would like to highlight that if you use a stability ball, the ball is not stable. So when you are resting on the ball, you will feel that your body will be shifting from side to side. So this is a great way to work your core muscles as well, meaning your obliques, your muscles, uh, deep spine muscles, multifidus. We have to work hard to try to stabilize your torso against gravity and not shifting back and forth. So it's not a bad thing. It's a good thing that you are working your core to help stabilize your torso and pelvis. Okay, so the next four more uh, variations, you can choose to use this ball as your modification. Okay, um, I'm going to place the ball here. We're going to change into different legs variation. Okay, second variation. Let me demo first. Okay, let me just use the ball. Actually, without the ball, okay? Bring your legs up, lift up to a prep. This time, straighten your legs out and exhale lower to 45 degrees. As I exhale, I'm thinking about circle my legs out to the side and swap with one leg on top, the other leg at the bottom. So it's like almost like a crisscross your legs, but continue pressing the band away from each other. Yeah, so you, you draw a semicircle clockwise and anti-clockwise while maintaining upper body up against gravity the whole time. So your legs are doing this action. So I'm pressing away and semicircle, pressing away and semicircle. So basically, we're kind of doing um, circumduction, maybe half of a circumduction. So hip flexion, hip abduction, hip extension, okay? So there's not quite a deduction uh, uh, for this exercise, okay? You can modify it by bending your knees slightly if you find that your hamstrings are too tight, okay? So what I do is I keep my knees slightly bent and I'm doing the same thing. So here my lever becomes smaller so it might be easier for, for your abs as well, okay? Because your levers are not as long, so the weight against gravity is less. Another point to take note is the lower your legs go down towards the floor, the harder it is for the abs to maintain pelvis stable in imprint and to maintain your upper body lifting off against the floor. So you have to try to find a, the right combination for me. Being able to lift up away from the floor to bottom of the shoulder blades is more important than trying to lower the legs all the way down towards the floor. I hope that makes sense. Okay, so you want to make sure that you can maintain upper body lift to bottom of the shoulder blades before you try to increase the intensity of uh, abdominal strength by lowly, lowering the legs down towards the floor. Okay, variation three. This one is one of my favorites, kind of like leg scissors, but you also add bicep curls as well with your arms. So you get to work the whole body integration. So I start with putting this loop band on in one leg only, just slightly above the knee. And I hold the flex band in the middle of my hand in my palm. Same arm, same leg. I'm going to lie down on my back. 
pelvis in imprint. There's three arms supporting back of the neck. You curl up to ab prep, same way. And you're gonna reach your uh, free leg up towards the ceiling. Okay, keep your right knee bent. From here, when you exhale, you lower your left leg down, and as you lower your left leg, you bend your right elbow, so it's bicep curl of your right arm. Inhale, return to start position, or move your legs slightly away. Exhale, we do again. Inhale, swap. Exhale. So I'm using my bicep on my right arm to pull my right leg in towards my chest as I work in hip mobility of my left leg. So if your hamstring of your left leg is tight, you can also bend the left knee as a modification. Okay, so your right leg doesn't really work much because you're using your bicep of your right arm to do a lot of work here. Okay, so this variation requires a little bit of coordination, but once you get it, it's kind of fun. Okay, so because you have to coordinate legs and arms together. There are many ways to uh, regress these variations. You can use a ball to support upper back. You can just isolate the legs movement, meaning keep your left leg still. You're not doing anything. You're just working your right leg. Exhale. Sorry. Your leg come in, bicep curl. Go away, release, and release, and release. Or you can keep your left knee bent and do the same thing. Okay, so you can progress step by step until you get the coordination on one side, then you add the other leg in opposite direction. Okay, the next variation, it's also one of my favorite. I have a lot of favorites. So this one, it's more of um, a lower back, or oh, sorry, lower abs engagement, okay? Working, uh, moving your pelvis away from your fixed legs, okay? I'm wrapping um, my loop band around ankles. Again, I'm thinking about pressing my legs away from each other gently. I keep my legs long, so my legs are not too close to my butt. I'm sorry, so this one loop band is on top of your knees, okay? Like this, but same principle. Press the legs away from each other. From here, I turn my palms up. I hold the flex band in between my legs. I think about inhale, lengthen tall. Exhale, scoop your tummy. Thinking about melting your sit bones down on the mat. Thinking about slide the butt cheeks along back of the legs towards the heels. Keep your hollow tummy, eye lie, stay straight. We maintain this position of the scoop of the abs and we do a gentle bicep curl. Exhale 10, exhale 9, exhale 8. Keep going like this. So you notice that I'm not moving my body, but my abdominals, meaning my rectus abdominis and my obliques, maintain isometric contraction. It stay in this flexion of the spine while working to strengthen your upper arms, your biceps. Okay, and then once you finish 10 repetitions, slowly come all the way up on top of your sit bones. Okay, so not much of the um, modifications here. What you can do is you don't have to go very far. Maybe just from sitting on top of your sit bones, just slightly sitting behind and do this bicep curls okay the further you roll your chest away from your legs the harder it is to maintain this abdominal scoops the whole time so ideally you should go down as low as you can keep abdominal hollow or scoop so you don't want this to happen so if that happens regress make your range a little bit less okay Last variation is also a little bit challenging in terms of coordination. You're doing bicycle legs. Basically, one leg bend, the other leg straight, and then swap to the other side. At the same time, pressing your legs away from each other. So in this sense, you get to work everything, hip flexions, hip extensions, hip adduction, 
Okay, and also um, knee extension and knee flexion. So great exercise for your lower body as maintain your abs in app prep. So lie down on your back, pelvis in imprint position, leg in tabletop. Um, you can have your ankles flexed, dorsiflex, or plantar flex, it doesn't matter. Okay, so sometimes I like to do alternate, so I work calf muscles as well. Okay, come up into app prep. Inhale here, exhale, straighten one leg. You can pull this leg in slightly towards the chest. Then swap. As I do swapping bicycle movement here, if your loop band slide up and down a little bit, it's okay. Make sure that you press your legs away from each other, pressing your flex band out. Okay, keep going like this between N8 to 10 repetition, okay? So you should feel burn in your thighs, top of your hips, maybe outside of the hips. Again, the, the lower the legs go down towards the floor, the harder it is for the abs to maintain pelvis in imprinted position. So make sure that you choose modifications that is appropriate for your body. It is better to do with a proper form then trying to do the last variation, which is the hardest, and then without a proper form, because that's when injuries or um, tension can occur, and it is a lot harder to try to uh, recover from an injury rather than trying to get stronger by doing it properly. Sometimes less is more. So if you have any questions or feedback, please write to me. Thank you for watching.